Welcome to the Vector Garden. In this video, we're going to take a look at freeform gradients and how to get into working with them. I'm going to show you a trick that you can use in order to identify the shapes that you have to draw. I have already prepared this file, so the image has been placed into it, and now we're going to go deeper, so Let's go into the Layers panel, and inside the Layers panel, you see we have the layer and the linked file, and we're going to make a couple of copies of this layer so that we can work with it. Because you see, we have to work in outline mode, because when working with these gradients and you put a color into it, then it hides the template. And when just going into Outline View by pressing Command Y or Control Y on Windows, you see the image is gone. So we have to prepare for that. And you can do that by double clicking the layer and turn on Template. And then usually the images are dimmed, which is nice for tracing them, but when working with the gradients, it's not so nice. So I've set this to 100% so that we see it. And when I click on OK, then you see there's no change in the colors, and also the layer is locked automatically. So now when I'm going into Outline View, then you see nothing happens. So let's go to Outline again, and you see nothing happens. So there's no change when doing that, and that's what we want. So I'm going to make two copies of this, just like this. I'm going to unlock one of them because I want to move that image so that I can see it while working on the other one. And then also that that is for later. So later on, we will, of course, work in preview when refining the thing but then we need that, so lock that again. And then I'm going to unlock this because we are going to prepare this even further. So what we're going to do is image trace this. So let's go to image trace. And we're not using the default, but we're using the low color setting, which turns this into a limited set of colors but those are too many. I'm going to set it to like 11. And then you see we've got all of these things as shapes, and that is just what we need. So this is now nice. We can close that and then lock this again. And then of course we need another layer because we need to draw somewhere. And into this, I have already prepared the drawing of the tomato, and I'm just going to paste in front, which pastes it in place, like this. And we're going to hide the green stuff. And now we're ready to go with this. So now that we've prepared this, we also have to take a look at the freeform gradients. So let's take a look at them. I'm just going to draw a circle, and then we're going to apply the gradient. So take the gradient tool and set this to freeform gradient. And then we have two options. We can set points and we can set lines. Let's first take a look at points, and I'm going to set three points into this and change their colors. So like this. And then you see the color spreads from the point to the neighboring parts. That is nice, but you see when this is happening, then we always have the spreading from the point, which is not appropriate for doing photorealistic drawing. For that, we need the lines. So let's just delete these points again, and let's use lines. And when drawing lines, then 
you can just follow that and also we can have them in different colors and then back again and in order to just limit the spreading you can draw the next line like this and then you can draw another line here and you see what's happening but there's one limitation what you cannot do is make the lines cross so they always have to be inside of each other as you also see we can of course have a point in this and another one so that is possible as well that's what you can do with freeform gradients i'm going to delete this so now we have to start with this drawing and first of all what we need to do when starting which i have already set up go into the preferences and this has to be turned off because this setting creates uncontrollable color inside of your objects and that's what we want to avoid because as i said we can't control it it's just there and you can't have it so let's turn off the stroke and then let's make this red and as i said once it's there you do not see what's below so we have to work in outline view let's go to outline view and then we have our nice template and we can start drawing those gradient lines i'm going to zoom out a little like this and then let's take the gradient tool go to freeform gradient and lines and then we are going to start i'm going to start here and it sets the nice hundred hundred one and then we're going to continue to here and i'm going to reduce the color so you can double click them and then with shift pressed we can reduce that and then set the next one and then reduce it slightly more like this and then i'm going to reduce it even more we will need to correct that later on but i'm just going here and entering it so that we do not need to do too much let's make it darker here and even darker here and let's add some cyan into this just like this and then here i'm reducing it again that is of course light that is reflected from whatever this tomato is placed on the table perhaps and that gets reflected so we finish that outer one and let's just see what we have so you see that is happening now of course the color is spreading to the inside from this line and let's go into outline view again and take that gradient tool again and, and i'm now going to draw this part here and for that we're going to have it slightly darker only slightly and then draw this shape here like that and i'm going to delete that because it's easier if you click on one of them and then illustrator picks that up and i'm just drawing a shape inside of that and now we are going to draw that one up here and i'm going to pick up this color and i'm making it even lighter like this and then we're going to draw this light here and you see i've ignored that shadow that comes from 
that green leaf, we're going to add another shape on top later on to have that. So just like this. And then we're going to draw this one. And again, we can draw those shadows later on. And for that one, let's just pick that up. Let's just pick up that color and draw just these shapes. So pick up that color. And then I'm going to pick up this here. And then draw this one. So now we can add a lighter color here as well, like this. And again, let's switch to the preview and take a look what we've got. It's like this. That's already nice, but it's spreading too much. So now we have to limit the light by drawing darker reds around it. So I'm going to pick up this one here. This is 100, 100. And in order to limit those, we're going to draw a shape here like this. And we're just going to draw this around here so that we can limit it. And whenever the lines are close together, we get a rather sharp gradient between them. And when they are far apart, then we get a softer one. So let's take a look at this. And you see, that's what we've got. And it looks like this has changed. So we're going to take a look at that. So what you can see here, this is white inside. So what I'm going to do is drag them closer to the inside like this. But then also what we're going to do is add another line into that center. To finish that, just press escape. And then we get this darker on the inside. And we can also make it slightly lighter. So just like that. And here as well. And then over here, like this. So that you see, we have a nice blending there. And then let's go over here, pick up this color, and then also limit that like this and make that smaller. And then we're going to limit this one as well. So now we have this kind of result, as you can see. And now we can continue working on that by comparing with the other one. So let's also go into the settings again. And I'm going into this one and making the dots smaller. So you see, so we can see more of that gradient. And now what we need to do perhaps is make these even darker because those blobs are very light. And since there are so many, what we're going to do is use recolor artwork for that. I'm going into the advanced options and let's see which one it is. So we are going to search for them. This looks like it. So let's just darken that. And you see, we get 
nicer lights, which resemble the original better. And then use the gradient tool and make this larger again to get this gradient into this, like so. And down here, I'm going to make some of them lighter so that again, we get a nicer gradient there. And then the next thing we're going to do is turn those back on. And now in order to get those shadows, I'm going to use the pencil tool and just draw a shape here. And I'm going to first close that by pressing Command J. On Windows, of course, that's Control J and fill that with 100, 100 and then Let's apply a Gaussian blur of around eight. And then we're going to set this to multiply. And I'm going to move it below this shape here. And then again, it needs to be slightly smaller. And there we have this shadow and it can also be slightly darker like that. And that's the same with all the other shadows you need here. Like this one, I'm just going to pick up all that shadow. So, and let's make this a little darker. And down here, we've got the same story. Just pick all of this up and move it below. And then we can slightly rotate it and move it where it belongs. And we can also add another shape, which overlaps it. And probably it needs to be slightly darker. And just like this, so that we get a nice blending and we can also edit this Gaussian blur and add some more blur to it. And then also I'm going to make it larger. So that's how you can use those freeform gradients and also that's how you can get some kind of clue of where to put those shapes.